Okay, um, here we have the first portion of the assembly of this thing. Um, as you can see, it's pretty big. Um, it's the size of this table, and uh, I think this table is about um, 36 inches by 36 inches. So this thing it's a uh, pretty huge. Um, anyways I measured it to be a little bit over four feet in diameter um, I got the 12 inch props installed which actually look small I thought they were gonna look bigger but they look small on this frame um, and I think um, it's gonna be powerful enough if not I'm gonna have to change the motors um, but that's pretty big I actually haven't gotten the weight on it yet, but I think it's uh, over three and a half pounds, four pounds. And I haven't even got the electronics on them yet. Um, but I think it's going to be a cool thing to see uh, flying. Um, as you can see, everything is mounted. Um, I used the, um, the motor mounts that came with the motors. I thought it was going to be good enough. It's got the two, the two screws and... Uh, lock nuts under it so it's not going to come off and then the 12 inch props and the new spinners uh, aluminum spinners and and the landing gear i took out from that other kit i bought um, now this uh, this plate right here the both of them are eight inches and uh, then i did this uh, tower for the electronics i'm going to actually move one of these towers to the bottom um, to give to give it a, a better center of gravity um, so it's gonna be the battery and the power board down here um, and then I'm gonna put the control board up here and the autopilot up here um, as you can see I labeled everything that way I know where the stuff goes um, and uh, I mean I think it's gonna be uh, pretty cool I can't wait to get this thing done uh, like I said this is gonna uh, set you back about you know you know 300 bucks a little more um, after the electronics uh, and everything else but anyway uh, I just wanted to show you guys the size of this and I mean I think it's uh, uh, pretty cool I mean I actually showed it to a few people and they're like what the heck um, plus I've never seen anything this big in a hexacopter model type deal so I suppose that after I'm actually gonna run the wire let me see I'm gonna run the wires right through here and then I'm gonna connect them that was gonna look nice and neat and the yeah uh, the ESCs I'm gonna put them right here between these two things I'm gonna wait for them there or probably up here that way they get cool and they don't overheat um, I think it's gonna be uh, pretty cool if um, I change anything, I'll take another video and uh, upload it just to uh, keep you guys updated. Whoever is building one of these things, I think uh, it's a hell of a project. I mean, you could really uh, appreciate maybe what you can do if you put one of these together. But anyway, um, I think it'll be neat. Okay, so uh, this is just a second video. Um, after the cabling, I'll take another video and... Um, I'll keep adding parts and try to put try to muck it up that way you guys can see where the parts go and the wiring and the cabling I actually uh, put a hole right down here uh, that way I can uh, route the cables uh, that I'm going to put on this um, anyway um, I actually think it's more than three pounds but we'll see um, I'll have to put it on a scale and find out if this thing is going to even consider flying. Um, anyway, I see uh, this is my, my shock absorber uh, thing that I uh, that I, I did on, on this. That way uh, it goes, uh, goes up and down when it lands. So... Anyways, that, that is that. Okay, until the next one.